Hey YouTube, here I have a bit of a tutorial about how to make your Windows machine, your PC, or well, Windows Vista, XP, 7, uh, any of those. It doesn't work as, quite as well as Windows 8 because that you would need the desktop, which you can get the desktop view, but it just doesn't work as well. Uh, to, but I'm going to show you how to make it look more like a Mac, software-wise. I mean, unless you want to slap an Apple sticker on it, you're not going to make it look very much more like a Mac. Um, and I have six methods here that I want to show you, and hopefully these work, so let's get started. First thing would be to get a Mac background, as you see here. This is the default uh, background for Mac uh, OS X Mountain Lion. So what you do, you just search in um, Google search OS X background wallpaper or anything like that. Uh, I'll have a link to all these in the description of the video. And this is the one I have, not necessarily this exact picture, but it's this picture in general. And you can see this is the default wallpaper, as I'll show you here. You see um, on the Apple website, that is the uh, wallpaper. So you get this wallpaper, and you just put it as your wallpaper. And you make sure it uh, fits all the way, and it looks a little bit more like a Mac. So that's the first step, pretty easy. There's a... Uh, other ones, a lot of the Mac uh, operating system wallpapers are kind of uh, uh, space themed, as you can see through some of these. So you can choose any of those, that's the first step, and that works pretty well. The second one would be the icons. You down here, these are pretty standard things. This is actually my computer. Uh, it would just load, uh, it would load computer if I clicked on it. But I've renamed these like this one, Finder, and change the icons to the Mac icons. See this recycling bin? That is a Mac recycling bin icon. So what you do, first you have to, I'll put a link to this as well. You install this uh, leopard themed icons here package, and you get all of these. I don't know how much it is. Probably more than a hundred. Um, and you have all these different themes different icons that you can change your icons into to make it look more like a Mac because these are all Mac icons you can see right here you have like iPhoto you have iMovie up here you have uh, the calculator which is the exact from the Mac so what you do you go into personalize you go into change desktop icons you go into you click on an icon click change icon you browse for it you find it and then you set it as that. Set it as whatever you want from there. So that's pretty simple to do. And that definitely makes it look more than Mac. And you say, hey, how do you have those? And you tell them, you know, I made it look like a Mac because I installed some Mac icons on there. So that's uh, the second step. And I think that's pretty cool. And I'll have a link to that in the description. The third would be the dock. You see, standard Windows, you have all your icons right here. But for me, I put all mine down here, and all my extra ones I put in my unused folder, just to clean it up a little bit. And I just put it all right here, just to make it look a little bit nicer and cleaner, more like a Mac. Because in a Mac, you know, you have that dock down here, and so that's what I did. I just dragged them all down here, and you could install what I have a Rocket Dock, and um, it is just a Mac dock, but it slows down and it's kind of a uh, glitchy. So actually, I had that, but I deleted it because I didn't like it, and it just slowed down too much. But you can install Rocket Dock, which I'll have a link to that as well in the description if you want to try that out. What you can do, you can auto-hide the desktop so that when you launch something, oh, it's not for some reason it's not wanting to work work for me right now. But you can auto-hide the uh, desktop, or the taskbar. So this. The taskbar right here, where my mouse is, it'll automatically disappear so that it'll just show up with this. So that's the uh, third thing you want to do. The fourth would be iCloud. Because iCloud, you have, uh, you just go to iCloud.com and you can have all your iCloud stuff from all your I devices. You can see I find my iPhone here so I can find where my iPhone is, my iPad, my iPod, all that kind of stuff, my Mac, and all this stuff you can do to make it more like a Mac with iCloud integration. 
Uh, you can also install a portal, which is a uh, basically a web version of this for your desktop. And you just open it up, and it's basically like a oh, an, an app almost for iCloud. It's definitely something nice. You can load your contacts, your calendar, your notes. So load my notes here for some of my devices, my uh, iPad. Uh, I won't wait for it to load. It'll probably take a while. But you get the point. iCloud integration, definitely something you want with uh, your Apple devices. Alright, well, this is a uh, one I created, I guess. But I guess if I go here, no, I don't know. I don't know if that's from. It's not. So I have probably 100 notes. But you get the point. Integrate it with your iCloud, and it works pretty nice. Um. Fifth thing would be to get Safari because this is, you know, the default browser. Even if you don't use it, you know, just set it in your dock and make it look like you do use it. Um, just put it down here like I do. I don't really use it that much. It is nice because you can get like a reader feed. So if you're reading an article, you go up here to a uh, reader and it'll put it in a nice orientation and make the text all clean, get rid of the ads. You also this up here, ad blocker, as you can see. Um, I think part of it is cut off because of my uh, quarter. But uh, what this does, it just blocks all the ads. And it's actually a uh, decently nice um, web browser. It's not too slow. It's definitely not as fast as Chrome by any means. And I don't think I would use it as my everyday um, browser. But you know, for some of you, it might actually be a browser for you. But my computer is pretty slow, especially right now. But you get the point. Um, get a Safari for your Mac. You can see it's just started to load. Uh, if you have a slow computer, I would get it and just never use it and just put it there and kind of make it look like. Uh, I don't think that's gonna load. All right, there it is. But you can see, just get Safari. And the next thing would be iTunes. Whether you have an iPhone, iPad, iPod, any of those. And just get iTunes put in there, whether you use it or not. And iTunes has gotten a lot better with the iTunes 11, which I have here. And it's very nice. Uh, I like the new um, the new view of it. You have uh, your books, podcasts, music, all that stuff. And you have the iTunes store, which is very large. And I'll have a uh, link to this in the description, too. This is every Mac, you know. You think, you think Mac, you think Apple, you think, you know, iTunes. So this is definitely a uh, necessity thing. It's kind of self-explanatory. Just about wraps up my uh, little tutorial here. Um, this, you know, nothing will fully replace a Mac except a Mac itself. You know, it's got all the great apps and all that. Uh, but, you know, this is pretty much this is about as close as you can get. If you want to do some more, you can do uh, virtual boxes and stuff. But uh, my computer doesn't support that because it's not powerful enough. Um, and I'll be getting a new Mac next year sometime. I'll definitely be doing some coverage on that. So this is just my uh, PC to a Mac kind of video. So if you like this, please like the video, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.